Hey everybody, thanks for joining Glaze's Geyser Garage. This week we're going to repair the top of the lock pillars. Uh, there were both sides were rusted. The uh, passenger side was a little more rust and more repair. But what we did was we made a whole new pieces, a lot of contours, a lot of welding, multiple pieces. But stay tuned, watch it, and you'll see how we did that. Back out here today, going to start on the passenger side lock pillar, uh, rust repair. I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to start fabricating the repair patch for that. As you can see, I have all the rust cut out down to solid metal on the passenger side. Also got it cut out on the driver's side. As you can see here. Now I'm gonna start fabricating some parts here. What I've done now is taken this one chunk that I cut out. You can see here where I grinded the spot walls out. I cut a pattern a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go over to my belt sander and trim this down a little bit. As you can see, there's a slight bend in there here in the top. I gotta to put that bend in there. Yeah, so let's keep, let's keep going. Okay, made the piece that goes here on the side. Drilled my holes for my spot welds. You can see here, I'll weld that in and then blend all the welds in. I'm gonna go ahead and mark where the Spot welds are, and then clean the metal up underneath to make sure I get a good bond, good weld, and then we'll go weld this in. Okay, I got this piece all welded in and blended in. I got a little bit more fill to do right here, but otherwise it looks looks great. Start so working on this patch, and then of course I guess that's going to take a little more fabrication there for that piece. But yeah, it's coming along. Out here this morning, going to fabricate this piece, this part of the uh, lock pillar, the drip area. These are very typically rust. So I'm going to build this portion and patch this hole that I cut out. As you remember, I did this lower piece here yesterday. So let's get working on this. Okay, I got this left hand lock pillar patch in. I need to make a strip here and weld it in. But I even put the relief in here. That's to locate this, which is the stock unit had it on it too. So it's looking good. Of course, I'll get this all welded up and grind all these wells and blend them all. But yeah, let's keep moving along. Okay, I got that strip welded in. I Throw it in some more, and I'm going to blend these in, and then I'll be done. Then I'll patch this little square here, and then I'll be done on the passenger side. Okay, the passenger side is patched in, blended in. Um, everything seems to fit good. All I got left on this side is the drip rail and the gutter that goes here. The gutter seems to fit pretty good. Pretty happy with that, so... Yeah, let's move on to the other side, over y'all. Okay, so I started working on the removing the rusted portion of the coop lock pillar. So I removed that piece, and as you can see, I removed that piece, and now I'm down to all clean metal. I'm going to clean this up, hit this with some rust converter inside there, paint. Probably replace the top inch of this right here because there's a little bit of rust. I'm going to replace the top inch of that. 
and then start fabricating this mechanism, which ought to be interesting. So I saved enough of it to kind of get the form I need. So yeah, we're hitting that tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I'm golfing. So anyway, we'll get work on this maybe Saturday. Well, I ran out of the right gauge sheet metal. So I'm gonna have to go get me some more sheet metal. Okay, I here this morning, I got me a new piece of sheet metal. Took my pattern, laid it out. Cut this part in the bandsaw just to get this chunk off, but I can't get the, this bigger piece. You can see it's a pretty big piece of metal in the bandsaw, so I'm gonna take my fancy dancy uh, shear, shearing device right here on the floor, sorry. And I'm gonna try to shear that off. I haven't really used this shear that much, but I'm gonna check it out and see if it works. So yeah, we're gonna... Okay, everybody, you can see I have this passenger side lock pillar top cap for the coupe here uh, tacked into place. I have to cut this plate here, this filler, tack that in, then I'll remove this, and weld everything from the back side, get it nice and solid, and then weld it in. I used the original piece here because it had the nice curve and it wasn't rusted. So yeah, so I'm gonna go grab some lunch, come back out, finish this up. Okay, everybody, I got this piece here welded up, or I should say tack welded. Now I'm gonna weld the back side both, weld the front side and blend all the welds. Pretty happy with this fit. Fits on the car beautifully, so uh, yeah, let's get to welding. Okay, there's that uh, top of the lock pillar for the coupe, which is not made. I did reuse this piece and welded that on, but I made all this all welded in the back. You see all my holes, welds, where I'm gonna weld it to it, simulate a rosebud weld or, anyway, let's try to get this thing on. Okay, I got it all in place. Got every every all my holes drilled where I'm gonna weld. I think everything's fitting up nice, so I'm gonna go ahead and tack it in. Go from there. It is tack welded in place. I fit up the uh, door jam, the lock pillar door jam, and the drip rail and the gutter, and everything seems to fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this thing in and blend all the welds. As you can see, I still got welds to, more welds on uh, my repairs and blend them all in, so gotta get to work.
Okay, everybody, I have the right side lock pillar cap for a coupe. Uh, shaped in, welded in, blended. I'll do a little bit of smoothing here with some body filler just because it warped a little bit when I was welding. But we'll take care of that, smooth all that out. Real happy with this. Everything fits up nice. So now we move on to the drip rails and the gutter. I got the gutter right here. Fits in there real nicely. Pretty happy with that. Goes about right there. Probably right there is where that goes. I'm real happy with that. Never fitted a gutter or drip rail, so wish me luck. Probably work on that next week. That'll be in next week's video. So stay tuned, guys. This, I will say, this was uh, quite uh, quite challenging to get all these shapes and contours the way they're supposed to be here. If you notice, there's a ridge on those that comes like that from the factory. Built that in and blended it all in there. So multiple pieces. Actually, I had uh, one, two, three pieces on that. So thanks a lot for the uh, video you did mid-year, Mitch. Helped me out quite a bit, so let's keep moving. Well, thanks for joining this video, you guys. I uh, really appreciate it. As you could see, it was quite a quite a little task to do the top of the lock pillars. There's a lot of contours involved, but we got it tackled. Uh, remember, like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate that. And next week, we're going to work on the drip rails and the gutters. So thanks again for joining. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.